Russia's invasion of Ukraine, list of key events from day 32. As the Russia-Ukraine war enters its 32nd day, we take a look at the main developments. Russia has criticized US President Joe Biden's remarks that Russian President Vladimir Putin cannot remain in power. The White House has tried to downplay the comment saying it was not a call for regime change. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has demanded that the West provide a fraction of the military hardware in their stockpiles. Four missiles hit Lviv just 60 kilometers, 37 miles, from the Polish border. Russian forces have taken Slavatik, where workers at the defunct Chernobyl nuclear plant live, an official said. Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoig was shown chairing a meeting, the first time he has publicly been seen speaking for more than two weeks. Ukrainian troops are launching counterattacks against Russian forces in some areas around the capital, Kyiv. British Foreign Secretary Liz Truss says UK sanctions against Russia could be lifted if Moscow commits to a full ceasefire and withdraws its troops. More than 3.7 million people have fled Ukraine since Russia's invasion a month ago, the UN says. Around 90% of them are women and children. The UN estimates that another 6.5 million people are internally displaced. Ukraine asked the Red Cross not to open a planned office in Russia's Rostov-on-Don, saying it would legitimize Moscow's humanitarian corridors and the abduction and forced deportation of Ukrainians. Chernihiv has 44 severely wounded people, including three children, who could not be evacuated for treatment since the northern city has been cut off by Russian forces, the mayor said. Thank you for watching and subscribe for more stories.